चैप्टर ट्वेल्व भक्ति योगा अर्जुन सेड माय लॉर्ड यू हैव डिफाइंड टू काइंड्स ऑफ डिवोटीज ऑफ योर्स दोज हु आर कॉन्स्टेंटली एंगेज इन वर्शिपिंग यू द ऑल मैनिफेस्टेड आल माइटी एंड अदर्स हु मेडिटेट ऑन द फॉर्मलेस क्रिएटर विच अमंग दीज टू काइंड ऑफ डिवोटीज आर द प्रेफर्ड वर्म्स द लॉर्ड ऑल माइटी सेट the devotees who concentrate their mind on me and remain engaged in my worship with utmost devotion on my ever manifested form are considered great among yogis but those who controlling all their senses properly meditate on the omnipresent all pervading almighty which is without manifestations those who are calm and fixated it externally and internally those who are always interested in working for the welfare of humanity those who remain fully involved such yogis undoubtedly attain my form yet those who meditate on my formless concept have to work much harder because for human beings it is extremely difficult to dwell and meditate on the formless concept of the almighty the devotees who dedicate all their deeds to me and remain engrossed in my worship those with their bhakti yoga remember and worship my universal manifestations arjun i am responsible to ensure that these devotees who always set their minds on my thoughts are freed from this worldly sea of death and i ensure that they attain salvation you must engage your mind and your intellect on me if you do so in fact you will dwell in me there is no doubt about it if you are not capable enough to fix your mind in me then arjun wish for attaining me through repeated efforts and through such yoga in case you are not even capable of such yoga practice then give up your selfish motives and dedicate all your deeds to me in this manner also you will be able to attain salvation and finally merge in me however if you are not in a position to carry out even that then you must exercise control on your mind and intellect and relinquish the fruits of your labor practice with knowledge is better than practice without understanding meditation on my manifestation is better than knowledge however relinquishing the fruits of your deeds is even better than meditation this is because you attain peace right away if you relinquish the fruits of your labor the person who is free from envy jealousy or other selfish motives he who loves all sympathizes with everyone and is without any attachment or ego and for whom pleasure and pain is just the same one who pardons and gives courage to everybody removes fear of even the sinners he who is always satisfied and fully control his mind and senses and holds a strong belief in me such a devotee of mine is lovable indeed my devotees who who are never agitated with anyone nor does anyone gets agitated with them and those who are also free from joy and we fear are undoubtedly dear to me the person who is free from desires who is pure internally and externally who is capable and does not take sides and is also free from all sorrows and who relinquishes all intentions such a devotee is extremely dear to me 
those who are never excited are never envious envious are never dismayed those who do not long for anything and who relinquish all their deeds good or bad such devotees are my favorite persons the person who does not distinguish between a friend and a foe who remains calm whether he is being respected or insulted for whom winter and summer do not make any difference and he who is free from attachment of all kinds is dear to me the person who considers criticism or praise alike who is at peace with himself and who is satisfied with whichever way he can subsist and he who is not keen about or attached with his abode such a person is my favorite i am extremely fond of devotees who have strong faith in me and who hold no selfish motives nevertheless they enjoy the nectar of life with love and thankful grace this is my considered opinion arjun thanked lord krishna and he said ke yes he has fully understood and he will act according to lord's advice